You're welcome back. Now, I've always wondered who they are. Uh, they're in the studio with me today, and we're going to find out together. I have with me members of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship to talk about their 2018 convention. Let's say good morning to Mr. Kwabuna Ini. Uh, he's the National Director for the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. And Mr. Raymond Abaifa, who is the President of the Floodgate Chapter of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship. I've, always, I've, I've said your name three times and already I'm sweating. Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. What a long name. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning. sir. So who exactly are you? Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, we are pleased to be here to share with you a little bit more about us uh, for, for the sake of those who haven't yet heard of us or not understood who we are. We are a men's and fellowship, uh, but also women are members of our fellowship uh, and uh, we are businessmen uh, and, and women uh, who do our ordinary jobs but also have come to know what Christ has done for us and therefore we use our testimony, our personal testimony to share and to propagate what the gospel of Jesus Christ is all about and so four gospels uh, being that because we believe in the Bible, we believe in miracles and all the things that happens in the Bible are things that we experience daily. Uh, we are businessmen, as I, I said, we are doctors, uh, lawyers, ordinary men working. Uh, we are not necessarily pastors, but we do have pastors who are members of our fellowship. And we are international. And so you find us over 150 countries in the world and over 7,000 chapters all around the world and still growing. Wow, it's beautiful. Now let's talk about this convention. The first thing I notice is that you've got several sort of state and political actors on your roster this year. I know Le uh, Lieutenant General Obed Akwa, who's the uh, Chief of Staff of the Ghana Armed Forces, uh, will be there. First Lady, uh, Mrs. Rebecca Kufuadu will be there. Uh, Mr. Yofi Grant of the uh, GIPC is also on, on the bill. Uh, what's the reason for all of these uh, uh, sort of national figures, if you will? And if I may add, and the finance minister too will be there, ah, uh, right. Mr. Yeah, Kenoporeta. Uh, uh, we can't leave him out. Exactly. And it is deliberate uh, because if you go to the Bible, uh, you realize that all the key players in, in re religion uh, in, 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 have always had influence in society. And so it is not for us to separate what we do from what actually must happen in, in Ghana. And therefore, it is very necessary that we involve those people who make decisions and those people who impact society most uh, into what we do. So yes, it was deliberate to invite the First Lady of the, of the nation, uh, who will be joining us for the Ladies Fellowship meeting this afternoon at midday uh, as our special guest. Yesterday, we had uh, Lieutenant Colonel Aqua, the CDS, uh, who came as our special guest for the opening ceremony. And he blessed us with a message. And that message is a message of integrity it is a message of leadership. It is a message of making sure as Ghanaians uh, and as Christian Ghanaians that we take the strong, we take the foothold of the nation. We say in Ghana there's 70% Christians, uh, but we see what is happening in society. It doesn't reflect what mm. Christian values are. And mm. therefore, since these are the people who make decisions, these are the people who make impact uh, in the nation, then people like Ken Ferreira and uh, Yofi Grand are people that we want to associate with and bring in the message so that we can sync with what government is doing and make sure that the Christian values are underpinned in a country that we call a Christian nation. Wonderful. Right. So let's uh, talk a bit more about the convention. What, what exactly is on the cards? What's the final take home that you would like uh, people to have? Okay, so the theme for the convention is Awakening Giants for Exploits. You are working for exploits. Uh, if you are awakened, exploits are the things you have you are going to do that have never been done before so you come into the convention to be inspired to be um, re-engineered rejuvenated to take this mantle of christ the gospel to your workplace to your church to your home and to be somebody that counts for something we've come to a point where christians must really show up and stand up and believe in what we do and do it for the world to see so you come in to be inspired to be led to have a business forum to have your business being looked into, to have your entire life reviewed. So you go out there and begin to step out. From um, tomorrow, when we are done with the evening rally and um, there'll be some breakfast meetings as well, when you start going up, you want people to know that this is who you are and this is what you stand for. And so you want to go out of this convention 
understanding that you have been awoken to do exploits. So you cannot just be like you were last year, for example. Tell us about what happened in Cape Coast. Apparently, some Christian youth came together. Awesome. Right. Cape Coast was it. an awesome time. It was the first time Ghana hosted the African Youth Festival. That was the first time that the youth of the fellowship globally gave Africa a voice. And it was in Cape Coast was a wonderful location. It was a three-day event. We had people coming from all over Latin America and other African countries. And we shared under the team One Direction. We had concerts. We had powerful speakers. And it has really rejuvenated the youth of the fellowship in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And we are looking forward to replicate it in other places. In fact, in December, we are trying to have another event just to get the young people in the fellowship, the young business people, take up the mantle from Mr. Enin and go and run with it. And well, so that's we certainly look about. forward to seeing you take over the world. Uh, Mr. Kwabna Enning and Mr. Raymond Abeifa, thank you both so much for getting us excited about the full gospel business men's fellowship international next up it's uh, madam trouble herself bex brings us showbiz